Welcome to another video in the Twitch Tech series. Uh, this time I'm just going to show you what I do personally to check the quality of a stream while uh, streaming. In this instance, in this case right now, my brother is streaming, Trick Turbo, with uh, Bitter Old Goons Gaming. So he's streaming absolute drift. So what I want to do is just check the stream quality and see how things are going. Twitch actually has some stuff built in. Um, that allows you to check the stream quality and check how things are going and it's called twitch inspector so all you do is you go to inspector.twitch.tv and then it will actually ask to uh, link to your account so your account will have to give it permissions and once you get those permissions then you'll be able to hook up anyway um what we're seeing here is we've got a stable bitrate here it's in the green stable at 5100 kilobytes per second or about five megabytes per second i know trick usually aims for around 6000 so i don't know maybe at that little snapshot in time that's what it was going at let's just check back here okay so i, I like to check that you can click right on this ch chart itself if you want uh, to get a little bit more information about um about the actual stream itself so he's got it set to cbr which is a constant bitrate but it is jumping around a little bit but you'll see here it's it's pretty much hovering around the 6,000 kilobytes per second or 6 megabyte per second range which is what he wanted so that's pretty good like this one here says uh, stable at 6,500 kilobits per second for 58 minutes so yeah configuration check excellent um, there's some information here as well too average frame rate 60 fps which is what he's doing so yeah that's good now another tool you can use is called Rich's Twitch Analyzer. Now, if you just go to Google, let me just make sure you're still streaming. Here we go. Good. So if you just go to Google and you type in Rich Twitch Analyzer, uh, it will be the first link there. You click on that. This is a neat tool. It's actually a really good tool as well to uh, do a little bit of your own investigative work into what other streamers are streaming at. So you can type any pro streamer's channel name into here while they're streaming and it'll spit out their settings or as close to it as possible. Just if you want to know what resolution, what frame rate, that sort of stuff they're streaming at so you can try it yourself. Especially if their stream looks good, you might want to try to duplicate that. So, Bitter Old Goons Gaming, you can actually just copy and paste here. Uh, just right click and copy. Or, if you know the actual name of the stream, Bitter Old Goons Gaming, you can just type the shorthand in there. So I'll just paste that there and he'll hit go. <clears throat> so this has to be done while while the person is streaming or while the streamer is streaming. And so it's gonna go through these uh, video files or these segments and it goes, I think it was nine, eight or nine there, and it counts down and it goes through. So what we see here, we got bit rate stability, video frame rate, quality check, drop frames, keyframe check, stream info and stream availability. And that's what it's going to check. You can read into it a little bit more on the site there. Again, this is the Rich Twitch or Rich's Twitch Analyzer, which is really handy. So right here, we're looking at uh, 59 frames per second, plus or minus 1.9. So around 60 frames per second, which is good. Bitrate seems sufficient for resolution. Uh, streaming at 1080p, 60 or how. So it's giving you some information here, some quality check information. I know if things are in the red, it will actually give you suggestions on what you can do to fix it, which is really cool as well. So I really like this tool. I've actually really liked this tool for looking at other people's streams and kind of just trying those things in my stream. So right here, resolution, audio, total bit rate, that sort of stuff. Reduce delay, yes. So he's got a setting on there to reduce delay, which makes sense. So yeah, so there's there's that information there. So we have Twitch Inspector. Um, and again, if we go back here, there's a little there's a little chart that will actually show you your past streams as well. You can actually drag past past two days. We can look at let's do the let's do the past seven days. I know Roll SK has been having some problems with his internet on streaming, so we get actually some red portions here. So maybe if we click on one of those, maybe if we click on one of these, there we go. We're gonna see where we had problems. Um, Right here, it just dropped way down, and then he probably lost the stream, and then it started up another one. Uh, but yeah, again, it's a nice tool to have. Now, another thing I like to do is go to YouTube. So what we're doing right now is we're using Restream to stream out to three different services. We're streaming out to Mixer, we're streaming out to Twitch, and we're streaming out to YouTube. So I like to go to YouTube over here. So if you want to go to YouTube, you go to your account, so you go to Creator Studio here, and we're just going to go over to here to live stream. We're going to see what's happening here. 
So right off the start, it gives you just a really, really shorthand version of what's going on. Um, stream health, you can click here. Stream is healthy, that's all it tells you. Now, up here also stream health is good. It can go yellow, it can go red. If it goes yellow or red, it will give you suggestions on what you can do. Also, if you're streaming at a different resolution, that's not a standard resolution, it's gonna give you warnings as well. But we haven't had problems with keeping those resolutions. It's just that it's not a standard like 720 or 1080. So, another place you can go in here is if you go to advanced settings. So click on advanced, it's gonna open another window. And there's something called live control room. This is kind of neat actually. If you just want to see what's been going on during your stream. Of course, it's very handy to have another person to check this out or else a second monitor. So stream status, good, 720p stream. Now that's actually wrong. It's a 1080p stream, so I don't know what it's doing there. But uh, total viewing time, 3p concurrent. Um, yeah, so it's just analytics right here. This is kind of neat here. This shows you who's viewing and at what resolutions they're viewing. So some people are viewing 1080p, some people are 360 uh, here's the total 720 is the pink line um, yeah and as far as errors uh, we've had no errors user reported errors zero uh, no failing uh, this is I don't know what this would be fails so a stream or something buffering unknown user report uh, yeah so this stream looks really good so this whole control panel you can actually use chat from as well uh, if you have things monetized you can actually insert ads that sort of stuff uh, but yeah so hopefully this helps you out just kind of just checking out your stream but also as a bonus checking out other people's streams seeing what resolution and frame rate and some other settings they're using uh, to give you ideas on making your stream better if you have any questions about streaming at all any questions about settings definitely ask us in the comments uh, we've got a variety of guys i think we're up to six guys um, all with different types of machines all with different settings and hopefully we'll be able to help you out so yeah again thank you very much for watching uh hit that subscribe button if you like this video there's going to be more coming and thank you very much